games. Well, now we're going to have two qualification games for the World Cup again. Uh, but we needed those top-level teams to play against to see where we really are. And I think we did, we did well. We grew as a team on the pitch and off the pitch again. Um, so it gave lots of information. And to be honest, I was pretty satisfied with the team and the performance we had. Not many changes. Bethany England comes back in, doesn't she? Four goals and two assists for her in her last two games. How good is she and how good to have that sort of player right on form at the moment? Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for her because, of, of, of course, she was a little struggling with her injury and then she came back and now she gets more playing minutes at the club. So that's really nice and she's doing well. Uh, you can tell that she feels comfortable. So that's nice, but um, up front we have a lot of competition. Um, but it's good to have the competition. It's a luxury to have such good players in the squad. Brilliant, thank you. Thanks, Gail. We'll go to Emma Sanders, please. Hi, Serena. Hi. Um, I just wondered whether you'd considered calling up Chloe Kelly. Obviously, she's back in full training. She hasn't yet played a game, but yeah, I just wondered whether you'd considered maybe just bringing her along. No, I haven't considered that. Of course, we know how good she was when she got injured and how in what form she was. She's done very well. And um, well, we've, I, I've seen her play before I got, got this job too. I know she's doing well at the club. There's contact all the time, uh, but she hasn't played a game yet. And she first needs to start playing games. She's had a, a pretty tough injury with the ACL and she needs rhythm now. And that's where it starts, playing at your club, getting consistency at your club level and then you can take the next step. And she hasn't played any minute yet. She will hopefully very soon. That's what we expect. Uh, and hopefully she'll get to, the, to, her, um, to, yeah, to her level that she's capable of. But that will probably take a little more time. But yes, we really keep a close eye on her. Yeah, and I just wondered how much she's spoken to, to Steph Horton as well. And are you hopeful that she'll be fit enough to play potentially in, in the summer? Yeah, I've spoken to uh, to her, of course, um, and she's you know it's going to be really tight. Uh, she's doing everything what she's capable of, everything that's in her control, she will do to make the Euros, um, and we'll see. So you you know she takes step by step. Now she's um, you know she's she's still in the first period of her rehab, and hopefully she she uh, proceeds well, um, and from there we'll see. So step by step, um, and as I said, the the, the comp competitiveness in this team is really high. Uh, she has had a tremendous um, a CV with us, so I hope she will make it. But I hope, that, first of all, she needs to be on the pitch. She needs to start training and, and then be fit enough to, to be on the pitch every day to train and, and, and recover well. And that, that's a little farther away. Thanks, Serena. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to Sophie from Girls on the Ball, please. <coughs> Sorry. Hi, Serena. I hope you're well. I was just Hi. going to ask about your opponents um, this About time. what? Uh, Sorry. Sorry, I was going to ask about your opponents this time. Oh, OK. Yes. Obviously, back to North Macedonia. Um, it's probably an easier proposition than the Arnold Clark Cup, but it is, it is a time away with the team. Uh, what are you expecting from that game? Yeah, I expect what we did expect before, uh, before the Arnold Clark, Clark Club in the international breaks. Uh, that will be in possession all the time. That will be attacking. Um, and that what what we have what we set our goals on uh, just do well in attack um, don't concede any other goals and score uh, hopefully a lot of goals that create lots of chances I think Northern yeah, Ireland will be a little different yeah I was just going to ask about that because you're going to Windsor Park in Northern Ireland um, it's a national football stadium um, there's a lot of buzz around the game and its growth over there um, how much are you looking forward to that atmosphere because England Northern Ireland is also a rivalry. Yeah, I know. Uh, and that's what we felt uh, when we played them here. Um, yeah, I think that's really good. I think they're growing. Uh, they've done well. Uh, it, I expect a more competitive game. Uh, we, although we won 4-0 here, it wasn't that easy, that game. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and it's going to be competitive. And I think the environment will play in at that stadium. I think they already sold over 12,000 tickets. So it should be really nice. Brilliant. Thank you. See you next week. See you. Thank you. We'll go to Tom Gary from The Telegraph, please. Uh, uh, thank you. Good afternoon, Serena. Really nice to speak to you. Um, could I just follow up on Emma's question about, about Steph? And obviously everyone's hoping she'll be back fit soon. I'm wondering how late would you be able to make that decision of whether she would be fit enough to play in the Euros? Is that something that could be made right up until 
the start of the tournament, you know, how long can you give her to, to try and get fit, given her, her status for English women's football? Yeah, well, we give her a little more time because we know uh, she needs that little more time. But with the history she has with this team, the contribution she's had over the years, uh, I would like to give her a little more time. But she needs to be fit and playing well. And she's been out for a long time, this whole season, actually. Actually, in the September camp last year, she came in and then uh, she got injured for the... Well, for the first time since I was in. Uh, and since then, she came back in January. She played well, uh, but then she had to um, to step out again. So we just have to see how it goes. And she goes step by step, so do we. We are in contact with her all the time. We have, um, so so now first, her first part of the rehab should go well. If that goes well, then we go to the next stage. Uh, and that's what how we approach it and how she approaches it too. Uh, she absolutely wants to do whatever that's in her control to make the Euros. Um, and, and she has a clear plan and we just keep uh, keep each other updated about the situation. Thank you. And just lastly, please, could I check if you've had a chance to speak to Frank Kirby and how is Fran doing? Yeah, Fran's doing OK. Um, she's uh, obviously she's at the club. She has her own program. And I hope, well, she hasn't played for the last three weeks, well, after the intensive, about three weeks. So, yeah, she's not ready to play. She has her own program. And, yeah, I hope she will, she'll be back uh, on the pitch uh, pretty soon. But don't know yet. OK, thanks for your time, Serena. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Uh, we'll go to Phil Medlicott, please, from PA. Hi, Serena. Um, I just wondered, uh, you get asked this question every time, but if we're, um, do we have a... Um, a decided captain for these two matches we'll, we'll step out again or is that you know another one that's yet to be decided wait for the players to come in yeah <laughs> yeah you ask the question and you give the answer yeah <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> yeah well um yeah I, i'm gonna talk to the players first uh and discuss it and then when that's uh when that's clear and everyone's updated in our squad then i'll let you know Yep, that's great. All right, Thanks, Phil. Uh, we'll go to Catherine Bat from the Daily Mail, please. Hi, Serena. Hi. Um, you spoke about Beth England earlier, um, obviously coming back into the squad. Um, it feels like in the past England have been quite reliant on Ellen White for goals in tournaments. Um, you know, going into these fixtures, you've got Beth, who's got a couple at the weekend, and also Alessia Russo, who's in very good form for, for Manchester United. How pleasing is it for you to have, you know, a selection of forwards in good form? Um, and it also, I guess, helps maybe take the pressure off Ellen a little bit and, and keeps the competition high too. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, I think now with these three, you pronounce three forwards, three centre strikers, they're all three a little different. Um, Ellen is the most experienced so, and, and Beth has been in, in, in the game for a long time too. Alessia is a little younger, she's just a, a coming striker who needs a little, little more. So from the Arnold Clark Club, we got more information about our strikers. Now Beth is, is back again. And um, yeah, it's nice to have players in the squad who can score goals. And I think that part of the game, that's what we saw in the Arnold Clark Club too, that's what we have to improve as a team too. So how do we create chances and how can we execute even better than, uh, than we have done before? Um, so yeah, it's it's about the strikers, but also about the team, uh, the team execution of uh, creating chances and scoring goals. Thanks, Serena. Thank you. We we'll go to Dan Pentland, please. Hi, Serena. Hope you're well. Um, I think Katie Zellum was the only player who didn't play at the Arnold Clark Cup who was in the squad. Um, how impressed have you been with her form? That um, you know, and what would you like to see from her in this camp? Yeah, Katie. Well, Katie for 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 Man United, she's a very important player. She is in the squad um, with us too since uh, last year September. Um, it's a good player, but the competition in the squad is really high too. Um, so she's competing with players, but and I chose to 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 play other players. If I look at her own development, and I talk, I've talked to her a couple of times uh, about that, of course. Uh, too, then she's improving. She's aware of things and she's working really hard. And I think she does a, a great job at Man United too. She does great jobs in our team too. Um, but at the moment, at the moment, I choose other players and I, yeah, I, I uh, they win that competition at this moment. Thanks, Serena. That's brilliant. Thanks so much. Thanks, Dan. Uh, we'll go to Sandra Brobby, please. Hi, Serena. Sorry, my camera's broken. I hope you're well. 
Um, I was just going to ask, I mean, obviously with um, Mary Earps and, you know, Ellie Roebuck and Hannah Hansen being in relatively good form so far this season, do you feel like you've got a bit of a selection headache in terms of your goalkeepers and who you want um, in goal for you? Can you help me a little bit? Uh, you've got three goalkeepers all yeah. in form. Do you feel that it's a bit of a selection uh, so, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, first of all, we are in a very luxurious position that we have three goalkeepers of a very high level. Um, as at the end of the Arnold Clark Club, I said Mary Herbst is our first goalkeeper. She still is. But we have seen also that they had a good performance, all three of them, and that's clo that is close. And uh, they're really competitive to each other. Is that that's the answer right. on your question? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Sorry if you can't hear, it might be my internet connection, but yeah. thank you. Okay. Thank You're you, welcome. Sandra. Okay, I can't see any more hands, so unless anybody pops up now, we will say thank you. Thanks, Serena, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.